welcome. This will be our 30 minute yoga flow. My name is Katie. Thank you so much for joining me today. All you need is a mat. We'll be focusing on our hips, shoulders, and spine today. Go ahead and make your way to your child's pose. Knees come wide, big toes touch, and let your hips sink back towards your heels. Reach your fingertips long in front of you. Just let your head drop towards the floor. Finding some ease here. During the next 30 minutes, really want you to stay focused on your breath. We're waking up the body, waking up the breath. Taking a few rounds of breath to really bring you here into this moment. Deep inhales through the nose. Deep exhales out the nose. As you breathe in, fill up the back side of your body. Every exhale lets your hips sink deeper towards your heels. Deep breaths in. Deep breaths out. Start to wiggle those fingers and crawl them towards the top of your mat, lengthening through your arms and your shoulder blades, slowly making our way to our tabletop position, bringing your shoulders over your wrists and knees underneath your hips, beginning to warm up your shoulders. Inhale, reach your right arm to the sky. Exhale, thread right hand underneath your left armpit. Rest your head and shoulder on the mat. Option here to reach your left hand long in front of you, keeping that bicep over the ear to create a little bit more intensity through the stretch of your shoulder. Keep breathing here. The hips stay high to the sky. With your exhale, bring your left hand back under your shoulder. Inhale, reach your right arm all the way up to the ceiling. Now drop your right hand to a half bind behind your low back, opening up the shoulder even more. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, release it to the floor, right into the other side. Inhale, left arm reaches. Exhale, thread left hand under right armpit. Again, option to reach your right hand forward for more intensity. If you need even more, you can extend your right leg behind you. Now make sure you keep the weight in that shoulder and left knee, not your neck. Take another breath in. And with your exhale, release the knee. Release the right hand under your shoulder. Inhale, left arm high to the sky. Drop it behind your low back for that half bind. Gazing up at the ceiling if the neck allows. Inhale, reach it high. And then exhale, release both hands to the mat. Inhale for cow pose. Drop your belly towards the floor. Roll the shoulder blades down your back. Exhale for cat pose. Tuck the chin, tuck the hips, round the spine to the ceiling. Nice. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat pose. Moving with your breath. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Come back to center, flat spine. Extend your right leg long behind you and then just pulse the heel towards the floor, getting a nice stretch through your calf and your hamstring. Keep those hands underneath your shoulders. Slide your right leg across the mat to the left side and gaze over at that right foot, making a C shape with your body. Nice. Stay with it. Inhale, extend right leg back behind you, straighten the spine, and then as you're ready, lift your right leg hip height, flex your right foot, squeeze your right glute, and maybe it feels good to lift your left hand, lengthening out that body, holding the balance, take a big breath in, lengthen, 
Breath out, squeeze, elbow and knee together. Hold it here, core is tight. Press the belly button towards your spine. Inhale, lengthen it out and release. Hand and knee into the mat. And just take a few movements here, whatever your spine needs. Maybe you roll some circles, maybe a few more cat and cows. Coming back to that neutral spine, we extend the left leg long behind and then go ahead and bounce back up and down on that heel. Sweeping the left foot to the right side of the mat, gazing over that right shoulder and making that C shape with your body. Inhale, pull it back to center. And when you're ready, lift left leg hip height, flex your glute, flex your foot. Maybe today we reach the right arm forward, bicep in line with your ears, thumb towards the ceiling, inhale, lengthen it. Exhale, round the spine, squeeze it, hold it in. Stay. Inhale, lengthen arm and hand, leg, exhale, release. Now, plug those elbows right underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, hover your knees just an inch off the mat, engaging your core. Gaze is still at the floor. Take another inhale, and then exhale, come to that downward facing dog, sending your hips high to the sky, walking your dog out, making that inverted V with your body. Gaze stays between your toes, and just kind of find some release in those legs. We'll start to take some big circles with your right leg. So pull right foot up to the sky, open it out to the right side. Just keep moving through, opening those hips. This is at your pace. Nice. Keeping that foot flexed. Ending with your right leg to the sky. It might feel nice to bend the knee, open the hip, bringing your right heel towards your left glute. Option to flip your dog, landing your right foot on the mat. Press your hips up to the sky. Reach your right hand overhead. If you want to come out of this pose, send those hips back towards the floor. Release your right hand back to the floor. Right leg to the sky. Three-legged down dog. All four legs release into the mat. Left foot comes into those circles. Keep pressing your hands into the mat here. Flex your foot. Lead with your heel. Big open circles, creating some space in those hips. Again, this is at your pace. Ending with that left leg high to the sky. Again, bending your knee, opening your hip. Keeping that foot flexed. Option to take your flip dog or wild thing. Pressing both heels down. Send the hips up towards the sky. Know that if flip dog doesn't work for you, you don't have to take it. Just stay in your three-legged down dog. Good. And we'll all meet back in our four-legged downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Drop your left knee, coming to that modified crescent lunge. Hands come to your right knee. And then reach your arms up to the sky, stacking shoulders over hips. Take a big breath in as we lengthen through the spine. Breath out, goalpost the arms, sink into the lunge. Inhale, reach arms high. Exhale, goalpost the arms. One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, sink in, open the heart. Inhale, reach arms to the sky. Exhale, release your hands, framing your front foot. Tuck your back toes or keep them flat, whatever feels better on your knee. And then go ahead and straighten your front leg, stretching out that hamstring half splits pose. Inhale, bend the front knee, sink back into that lunge. Exhale, straighten your front leg. Inhale, bend the knee, sink into the lunge again, warming up those hips here. Last one, exhale, straighten your front leg, hinge, fold over. Slowly come back to center, stacking knee over ankle. Tuck your back toes and lift your back knee. Press your hands into the mat. We're going to step left foot up to meet the right, fold forward. 
Keep a bend in the knees. Let your head release towards the floor. Good, and just dangle here. Maybe rocking side to side if that feels good for you. Creating some space in your spine. One more breath in. One more breath out. Release your hands to the mat. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Reach your fingertips all the way to the sky. High mountain pose. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at your hips. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthening the spine. Exhale, folding forward. Now we're going to lift our right foot up. Send the right foot back. Drop your right knee down so we're back into that lunge position, but this time left foot forward. Hands come to the knee for stability. Reach fingertips to the sky, moving through your three back bends. Inhale as you reach it up. Exhale, sink in, open through the collarbones. Squeeze shoulder blades. One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, open. Inhale, reach fingertips to the sky. Exhale, release hands, framing the front foot. Straightening your front leg for that half split. Again, hinging from your hips, fold over. Inhale, bend the front knee. Exhale, half split, straighten front knee. Inhale, sink into that lunge legs. Exhale, coming to your half splits. Inhale, hinge, sink in. Now tuck your back toes, lift your back leg, and we're stepping all feet together for your high plank pose. Drop the knees for an option here. You can keep them lifted for full high plank. We lower slow and controlled all the way down to our belly. Good. Now let's interlace our hands behind your low back for bound locust pose. Press your knuckles to the wall behind you as you lift your head and shoulders. Lifting your feet, press your hips down into the floor. Can you lift a little bit higher? Keep squeezing those glutes. One more inhale. And then with your exhale, slowly release. Let your one cheek to the mat, hands release down at your sides, and just start to windshield wiper your feet side to side, giving that low back a little bit of a release here. Nice. And when you've had enough, just release your legs back down to the mat. Hands come underneath your shoulders and press yourself back towards your tabletop pose. Let's reach your left fingertips long in front of you. Sink your body towards the floor. This is a really good stretch for your lats, your armpits, biceps. Drop your chest towards the floor. But keep your left elbow lifted. Hips come high to the sky. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Come back to tabletop, moving to the right side again. Reach your right fingertips long. Drop your chest towards the floor. Hips stay high. Creating tons of space through your entire right side body. One more breath in. One more breath out. Come back to tabletop. Tuck your toes. Send your hips high. Downward facing dog. And start to pedal out those feet. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it between the hands. Drop the right knee. Coming back up to that modified crescent lunge. Inhale, reach your fingertips high to the sky. Straighten out your spine. And then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. We're setting up for a twist here. Bring right elbow to meet your left thigh. Now actively press elbow and thigh together. Let's lift that back knee and then tap it down. Lift the back knee, tap it down. One more, lift back knee, tap it down. Good. Nice. Taking a few more. <laughs> If it feels okay, you can open your hands floor to ceiling, deepening the twist. Come back to that modified crescent lunge and release your hands to frame the front foot. Inhale, lift your back knee. Exhale, step up to the top of your mat, fold forward. 
Nice, just dangle here for a little bit. Allow the crown of the head to release towards the floor, really creating space in your spine. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Planting those hands in the mat, lift your left heel and then step it back, drop your left knee, coming right back into that lunge legs, right foot forward. Inhale, arms reach high to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center, twisting the opposite direction. This time, left elbow meets right thigh. Keep pressing your hands together. And then we take those leg lifts, lifting your left knee, tap it down, lift and tap. Good. Engaging those leg muscles. Stay with it. One more. And release. Good job. Keep the twist. Again, option to open hands floor to ceiling. Gaze could come up at your top hand or down at your bottom foot. Bring your hands back to heart center and then slowly rise back up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands come down to the floor. Tuck your back toes. We step right foot back to meet the left high plank. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath in. One more breath out. Lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, slowly release. Press it back to your hands and knees. And come right back to your child's pose. Just taking a few rounds of breath here. Resetting your body. Things are starting to feel a bit warm. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Pull yourself back to tabletop and let's have a seat. Moving into your hips, we're going to take our seated pigeon pose or seated figure four. First, start with a couple windshield wipers, moving your knees side to side just to create some more space in those hips. Hands come behind your hips for support. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Now, the closer you walk your foot in towards your hip, booty, the closer your hands walk in towards your booty, the more intense this becomes. I'm going to face you so you can see what the figure four looks like. Keep that right foot flexed. And then breathe. We want to stay with a nice tall spine. This may or may not feel intense in your hip. Just know that the closer you walk your hands and your feet to the center of your body, the more intense of a stretch you will get in those hips. Start to heel toe your right foot out, uncross your feet, and again, move through those windshield wipers bringing that blood flow into your hips. We're gonna set up for our fire log pros. So bring your left foot towards the floor. Your right leg stacks on top. So try to stack your shins together like fire logs. And if this doesn't work for you, just go ahead and take your cross-legged position, right leg on top. Option to stay tall, this might feel enough for you. Or if you'd like, you can come down, folding over those hips, creating more of a stretch throughout that right glute and hip. Deep inhale, deep exhale, breath in, and breath out. Slowly begin to come back to your tall spine, uncross. We're going to bring the right foot over the left knee. Pull the left foot in a little bit closer. Setting up for our twist, bring your right hand behind your low back. Inhale, left arm reaches to the sky. Plug left elbow against right knee. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Good. Staying with your breath, begin to slowly unwind, uncross your legs, and just wiggle them out here, creating some more space. We're going to move right into the other side. So set yourself up. This time, left ankle crosses over your right thigh. Again, it's up to you how close you bring that heel and hands to the center of your body. What's important is that left foot stays flexed and your spine is long. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in. And breath out. Slowly begin to release from this pose, uncrossing your feet, gently windshield wiper side to side with those knees. Moving into that fire log pose, this time right leg on the bottom, left leg on top. Now again, you have the option to stay tall or maybe you start to crawl your fingertips forward, finding how deep you can go in this pose. Now, while we hold here, I want you to focus every exhale, lets you go a little bit deeper into this pose. Inhale, we create more space. And exhale, we move deeper into that space. Slowly come out, bending that left knee. Again, we cross left foot over that right thigh. Left hand comes behind, and then that right elbow meets the left thigh for that twist. Inhale as we lengthen. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, lengthen it out. Exhale as we twist. Good. One more breath in and breath out. Slowly unwind, uncross those legs, wiggle them out. Nice. Now we're actually going to come up onto our knees here. Option to stretch the soles of your feet. You can tuck your toes under if that's too intense for you. You can go ahead and just rest on the top of your feet. A little bit more shoulder stretch. All right. Keep that spine tall. Arms come out wide, cross right under left, wrap it up, eagle arms. Now, if you can't wrap up your hands, just grab hands to opposite shoulders. And then we're going to pull your elbows up towards the sky. Stretching between those shoulder blades. Nice. And then maybe pull the elbows down towards the floor. Feeling this right in the center of your back. Slowly unwind, let it go, other side. Now we cross left over right. Again, wrap it up. And if it doesn't work, just opposite hands come to opposite elbows. And start by pulling those elbows down towards the floor, keeping that tension, keep squeezing arms together. And then maybe pull the elbows up towards the ceiling. Notice how that feels. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Nice. Slowly release the arms. Let's take three circles forward. Big arm circles. And then three circles backwards. Big circles. Good job. Go ahead and bring your hands into the mat, untuck those toes, and just gently tap them. 
nice and easy to bring some blood flow back into those feet. Go ahead and make your way onto your seat, cross your legs, or whatever a comfortable seat is for you, and just find a nice tall spine. Taking a few seated cat and cows by rolling the shoulder blades back, open throat to the sky. Exhale, round the spine behind you, tuck the chin into your chest. Inhale, seated cow. Exhale, seated cat. One more. Nice. Just gently roll your head side to side. Coming up to a nice, comfortable seated position. Finding your sits bones in the mat. Finding a nice, tall spine. Just taking a few moments here to acknowledge all the work we did to our body today. Allow the shoulder blades to relax down your back. Finding stillness. Palms can face up towards the ceiling if you need a little bit more energy today. Or palms can face down towards the thighs if you need a little grounding. Good. Notice how your body is feeling here. Stay with your breath. Ending with three rounds of breath together. You can bring your hands at your heart or keep them on your knees. Release all the air from your lungs. Big breath in. Sigh it out the mouth. Ah. Inhale, fill up. Sigh it out. Ah. Last one. Deep breath in. Fill it up. Sigh it out. Ah, nice work today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Just take your time coming off of your mat.